Nigerian authorities have charged photojournalists to use their work of art in fighting the ills in the society. President Muhammadu Buhari, represented by his media aide Femi Adeshino, gave the charge at the launch of the official website of the umbrella body for paparazzi in, its, in the country. Pictures, as the saying goes, speak a thousand words. Notable works of art are done the space as Nigerians join the presidential aid to study the pictures on display here. Many of the works here give pictorial accounts of some of the ills in the society. The challenges of flood during rainy season, the hydrant-headed problem of demolition, which most often leave many people homeless and jobless, are captured in pictures here, all speaking to human conscience. President Buhari believes a lot of potentials are bound in the use of pictures to tell stories and to also right the wrongs of the society. He charges the photojournalists to contribute to national development with the kinds of pictures they take and circulate. See that boss that was in a flood. Any leader that sees that should be challenged that this must not recall in the next rainy season. So he will be spurred to do something about it. There are lots of pictures that should speak to the conscience, to the minds of our leaders. As he launches the group website, Buhari admonishes the photojournalists to continue to keep pace with technology and development. Never to rest on their oars. They have kept pace with development. They have kept pace with technology. They have done individual development. Let them never rest on their oars. Let them continue to keep pace with developments. Photojournalists believe their works not only add values to the pages of the newspapers, but also help to bring to light the ills as well as the untold stories of the society. But looking at the challenges and the risk they encounter in the line of duty, the paparazzi call for public support. Some of our members were brutally harassed by security operatives while discharging their statutory role and we find this unacceptable. The attack on innocent journalists across the country violates Article 19 of Universal Declaration of Human Rights in which Nigeria is a signatory. We therefore call on government to create an enabling environment for Nigerian journalists to carry out their duties of upholding the fundamental objective and directive, directive principle of state policy without fear or favor. The body is hoping that the launch of the photo website will showcase many of the untold stories in the land, while also drawing attention to situations that require the immediate attention of governments at all levels and the people.